There's dirt on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Hope they won't shoot me down soon And again, when I go for the rear naked choke, I don't leave my hand hanging out here I always reach behind the head first Then I bring my hand through And when I finish this Okay, I'm not, I'm Try not just gonna fight. Try to catch me to Alright guys, so this series of chokes that we're going to be going over is a series that I really like. It's been a favorite across the board of many of my seminars and it's honestly it's a choke I haven't seen anyone teach. I haven't seen, I've seen one person do it, I want, maybe it was on accident in competition, but when I saw it, it was like I took it and ran, just ran with it and started playing with it and coming up with different setups for it. But I love playing with the gi, um, and I love chokes, okay? Um, chokes basically is, for me, is the biggest game ender because if I put you to sleep, you're, you're done, right? If I get my hands around your neck, you're done, okay? But the way I'm gonna be teaching this, uh, this baseball choke, but I, I mean, I couldn't come up with a better name, but, um, I call it a loop, it's a baseball loop choke because originally when I first started teaching and doing it, my hands were orientated in a baseball grip position, like I'm going for a baseball choke. But at the same time, I was looping the lapel around the neck, okay? So the way, way I've always started this series is, I always start by showing the very basic mechanics of the choke and how it works and how it should work so, you get it right each and every time when you go from the uh, for the attacks and setup. So, um, when we're going when we're going for this baseball loop choke, guys, okay, I need to have this horseshoe shape here with lapel. Okay, I can't have it twisted like this because I lose all, like if it's twisted up, even like this, I'm losing a lot of the slack. Okay and I need as much slack as I possibly can get, okay? So where the baseball part came from now is this. My hands are gripping the lapel like a baseball bat, okay? Now here's the looping part. Looping part. My arm comes over the head, my right forearm drops on the side of the neck, and then I pull for the choke, okay? Over the years, I've modified it to where it's both palms up and you'll see why, okay? So here, initially, I got the horseshoe, okay? Hand comes to the uh, left side of his neck, pull him down, loop. My right arm drops, okay? As I drop, I'm bringing my shoulder, my elbow towards his chest while my left hand pulls on the lapel, okay? So that's the basic, basic baseball loop choke. So, 
Okay, so the next part, okay, like I was saying, I started modifying it to where it's like, don't hold this baseball bat grip. I went to palm up grip. And I had to make this modification because of what people were doing to counter this. A lot of my students were getting savvy to the choke and started looping their head out, okay? So I had this palm up grip. I get this choke here, okay? But as I'm coming here, you start to loop their head and I push their head to the side and I drop my forearm to the other side, okay? So essentially, it's the same exact choke, but just on the other side of the neck, okay? So again, we're here, boom. He's starting to loop his head around, so I push his head around over the opposite side. I drop my forearm to the side of his neck and I pull, okay? So basically, I'm just doing this. I push, boom. It's a nice little drill. It kind of Harlem Globetrotters his head, you know? So and fun for the whole family. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that was the basic, like it's the basic mechanics of this choke and the potential grip change that we had to make, not potential, not potential, eventual grip change that we had to make to counter our opponent's counters to that choke. So um, once you get that, okay, that, that mechanic, you'll start to see the choke everywhere else, okay? And it's just a matter of getting this lapel, creating this horseshoe, and keeping it right here, or getting to the side of the head, okay? So the other thing too, while he's still seated up, because it's, it's another counter to their counter that I, they, I've come across applying this choke, is um, when you start grabbing on the lapel. Like everyone, when you go for a choke, everyone's always grabbing at the lapel to defend the choke, right? And if I tried to do this, if I tried to show this while we're on our backs or whatnot, it'd be hard to see what I was doing. So that's why I always also lead into the, this counter while we're still seated up. So we're right here, I'm looping it around, but he's pulling on the lapel. So if he pulls on the lapel, it's fine. I'm gonna, just gonna take my hand, reach inside. Again, it's the basic mechanics of our, my, my baseball loop choke. So one of the first areas that I actually started using this, okay, was in um, from uh, Butterfly, okay? So when I'm in Butterfly, okay, I'm always, again, a cross grip with the lapel. Okay, so once I get this here, okay, I'm punching my hand here to the side of his neck, okay? I'm posting, okay, and I'm using this to move, okay? So whenever, when, whenever my opponent's trying to like pass my guard from here, okay, he, I have to think he's got one of two ways. He's either gonna come this way, okay, or he's gonna come that way. Okay, so either which way, okay, this stiff arm is gonna be super important, okay? So if, he's, if he starts coming to my left, okay? Okay, yeah, keep going, yeah, boom. I'm still keeping this here, right? So you see how he's knee cutting, right? I'm gonna pull his head through, boom. Catch a choke. So again, so we're here, he comes to my left, boom, I come up. Just keep this here. I could catch, bring my head, my hand to the side of his head, loop. Okay, now once I get this here, I'm gonna treat it almost like an arm drag, okay? Or no, a collar drag. I'm gonna bring my hip and my leg to my left hand, I pull, and finish a choke, okay? Now, if he just tries to do like a, not a Nika, but like a Toriando, okay? So you grab my knees yeah, and just start walking like that. This is where I'll be in trouble. 
Okay, because now I have to start following. Yeah? So you start to go on here. And then come to the other side. Okay, so remember like it was showing the counter, okay, where we're throwing this leg, this arm over the head. Okay, so I couldn't, I can't get this arm over the head, but I could get this arm over the head. So again, he's starting to come around. I'm turning, turning. I catch, my right hand pulls the head down, and then I get the choke. So, you want to, when you go for it, you have to hit it when they're squared up, okay? If you're, even as, uh, the unfortunate circumstance of this is, if you're right here, he's walking, and I'm a second too late, I'm gonna completely miss it. What we're ideally hoping for and looking for is for our opponents to go to the left, okay, towards the stiff arm, okay, because how I'll make him go to my left, my right versus my left, okay, placing my foot here, we're keeping good hooks, okay, because if I keep the good hooks or keep my foot here, okay, and he starts coming around, I'll move myself and move my arm around, okay? So I'm basically circling, 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 open. I drop my forearm down, my left hand comes in, and I choke, okay? And the beauty of this too is, even if he passes my legs, he goes to side control. Okay, and even if I don't have the second one, go to second side control. Okay, jump for the arm. <laughs> okay. As long as I keep this, and he, if, he try, if I'm here on my side here, okay, and he tries to go, he step, tries to step over for the arm bar, pull the head down, go step over, over, over my head. <laughs> okay, unless he's super gumby, it's gonna be very difficult for him to attack that arm. Okay, so all I have to do is pull him down. Make sense? So like I said, I've been using that for a long time. And um, where I started playing it and started Developing it and using it was from that butterfly, you know, because everyone will always sit. Let me have this, okay? They flatten me out, or I pull them here. They they're still giving me this, okay? Then push arm over, still giving me the head. Then I just reach my hand inside and finish the choke. <laughs> 